Okay, so um, the current winner, the weekly champion of not delivering chips to us is Microchip. Sorry, Microchip. I mean, I, I don't we, wanna, I'm not we dunking. Get, we are getting some, but it is it is. There are some that they they're they're it's they're, they're leading the pack on consistently not, not being able leading to, the pack. <laughs> I'm not leading the pack. So here's the one that we're not going to get for two years. Sam B51. The Sam B51 G19 two year lead time. Um, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Um, but you know, I, I just saw this because I got a notice from them. We you know we do have orders booked, but um, what's interesting is is many other chips that we were unable to get are are now available, and it's I think interesting that um, the microchip chips, especially like the SAMD twenty one and fifty one, and some other components, um, the lead times are still stretching out. You know, basically. Yeah. Three years total from the beginning. So not sure what's going on there. So here's my question and suggestion. So wait, I'm going to make a suggestion, then I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. So, okay, it says alternative product inventory. I'm going to get to that in a second. But. There, well, there wasn't any, yeah. Yeah, but here's what I think at this point. I think Microchip should, you know, they're on social media. They have all the same tools we all have. Just say, like, hey, here's here's where the chips are going. Here's why it's two years away. Here's why they weren't that's available. That's really long. At, at this point, so, like, yeah, we all kind of, like, suffered through the last couple of years. It's coming up on, like, year three now. But at this point, you know, we're kind of getting chips from everybody else. So it would be interesting to know, is, like, is it automotive? Because that's the first thing we heard. Is it something else? Is it military? What is, is it? it? Well, I mean, there's some chips that have definitely got end of line because they're like, look, the yeah. the fab isn't using this process anymore. I could get that, but this, yeah. I don't, I don't completely understand the two year all, lead all the time. All the like anything is okay there's after just, a two year lead time. There's just no information, and so that's it. So just getting back to something it said. This is my question for you, lady. And as our public service, if you were designing something that used to use a SAMD, um, what is these? Fifty one. Fifty ones. If you were using a SAMD fifty one in the past. What would you use instead right now? Well, it's not a complete identical, you know, matchup, but um, the RP2040 is the closest thing, and it's it doesn't have as many peripherals. I mean, the, the microchip SAM51 has great peripherals, but at this point, you know, you can pretty much get the ESP32, and you can get, you know, family of chips, and you can get the RP2040. STM32s even, I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see So I just said that in the chat. The STMs are coming in. I'm actually starting to see, like, STM, F1s. Have, I would have said the STMs few, were going to be the ones that were going to be the laggy would, ones. I thought they would be the laggiest, but actually the STM F1s and F4s and F3s, I'm starting to, I'm starting yeah. to see them come back into existence. We're still getting some teensy, so NXP, Freescale, is able to get some parts, but, like, you know, I'm getting chips from analog. We got, you know, the AD chips and Maxim. Yeah. I'm getting parts in. I mean, those are not my controllers. They're, they're the chips. Nordic has never had. Actually, if, Nordic has been able to supply almost consistently throughout this entire If Microchip's shortage. watching this, just send us a video. We'll play it on chip shortage. Or you can send us a reel and we'll put you on the real world. We have a segment. A- SCM32 F7 series, though, you're still screwed. Okay. And a lot of FPGAs are still screwed. But the, the I'm actually shocked. So, I, you know, the STM... If you can use the STM32 F4 series, there's a lot that are very compatible with the the microchip. Um, but yeah, the, unfortunately, right now, I think the 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 thing I'm seeing most people do is just go straight to the RP2040. Reason 137 that we did Circuit Python because the core can go across all the different processors because there's a lot of different ones that are out there. It's and a bummer because I really, aren't really aren't available and what are available. I really, really love and loved the Sam when the Sam one came out, I was just like, this is my favorite chip. And we made so much hardware with it and you know, I'm just Yeah. It's a little crushing. Okay, so tune in next so. week. Um, maybe we'll do microchip again, but uh, whatever is available, we do real world and whatever is I just wanted to microchip. warn people that there is some there's so, you know, I'm seeing some at megas, but there's still this yeah. was still a, was a little shocking. I was like, two years, really? And that's your shortage. Is it shortage? Is it shortage?